Hello scholar. Today in class 9th physics, I am taking the chapter motion. In motion, you are already done with what is motion, what is uniform motion, non-uniform motion, what is distance, what is displacement. Now, related to the distance, the next topic is your speed. Now, what is the definition of a speed? Speed is basically, it is the ratio of distance and time. So you can see I have written over here, speed is defined as the ratio of distance and time. Now, let us know the symbols. What are the symbols? The speed is symbolized by V, the distance is symbolized by S and the time is symbolized by T. So you can see it is written over here. Now the formula. Now formula in the words F, it is your from the definition the ratio of distance and time so speed is equal to distance upon time now symbolic formula put all the symbols over here so we get it v is equal to s upon t si unit the si unit of speed is meter per second as the si unit of distance is meter and the si unit of time is second so the si unit of speed is your meter per second and that is the same as the formula unit now since distance and time they both are scalar and scalar and the vector quantities i believe you know that that the scalar quantity is that quantity which has only the numeric value which has only the magnitude and the vector quantities in addition to the, these numeric values in addition to this magnitude when there is a direction also so now since both the distance and time they both are scalar that is without direction only the numeric value only the magnitude so the ratio the division of scalar and scalar quantity always gives a scalar quantity so speed is basically a scalar quantity now speed is of two types one is the uniform speed other is the non-uniform speed it's opposite speed. now what is uniform speed when equal distances are covered in equal interval of time that is called your uniform speed for example an object has gone from this point a to this point b and it is 5 meter and in suppose 10 second then again from b to c it is again your 5 meter and again in 10 second and so on so that means you can see over here that is your the equal distances are covered in equal intervals of time so this is called the uniform speed and what is non-uniform speed non-uniform speed is when unequal distances are covered in equal interval of time for example again if we say from this point a to point b it is say 5 meter in 10 seconds again from the point B to C say it is your 30 meter in 10 seconds again so it is the non-uniform speed so what is the common between the uniform and the non-uniform speed which often on children get confused is the time time it is always equal interval of time whether it is uniform speed or whether it is your non-uniform speed time it is always equal interval of time time interval never changes so what is the change change is the distance in the uniform speed that is all the distances covered are equal but in non-uniform speed the distances covered are unequal so that is the point of differentiation between the uniform and the non-uniform speed now the next topic is basically that is extending a scalar quantity to a vector quantity now as we have come to know that speed is a scalar quantity now if your this scalar quantity speed is added up with direction then what is the term called if speed is added up with the direction then the term called is your velocity so you can if you find in your NCIT book also it is not written after the this uh, topic speed it is not written your velocity it is basically 
the speed with direction so that would be our next topic now another your term in the speed is the average speed which is equal to total distance upon total time so this is the your average speed so when suppose from one point to other point there is a your speed whether it is the less distance large distance small distance more distance whatever we take the total distance divide by the total time of the duration of the uh, journey then that ratio is called the average speed thank you